Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating quite a few apps. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see an Apple logo. So here's my Apple logo. Just click on it. That's the top left hand side. And my third option will be App Store. So that's my third option. Just click on App Store. From your App Store, you should see something like this, where your very last option should say Updates. And then all these updates should pop up. So we have quite a few updates. We have a bunch of Microsoft updates plus Final Cut Pro and Compressor together with iMovie and WhatsApp Desktop. Just in case you don't see one of these updates here available at the moment, all we have to do is just go into search. So it's on the top left hand side again. And let's say we're looking for Final Cut Pro. That's just an example. And we're just going to select this. We're going to search for it. It should pop up right here and under Final Cut Pro, I'm going to see on the top right hand side, it should say update. Even if I click on Final Cut Pro itself, I'm going to open it up. It should say update on the top right hand side once again. So if there's a specific update I'm looking for and I don't see it there, yes, we can look it up this way or they should all be under updates. So for now, let's just get started with compressor. I'm just going to hit update. And just in case you guys want to know more about the update itself, you can click on more. Once you click on more, you can see exactly what this update's all about. And again, this update's only 288 megabytes, so it's a really fast update. Right now we can see that the update's happening because this circle is filling up until it's all filled out and then it's gonna disappear from here. And we're gonna see it down here under updated recently and we can just click on open. So that's what happens when an update is done. And that's the same thing for every one of these updates. So we're going to go into Final Cut Pro. We're going to press on update. We're going to press on more just to see how big this is. And down here below, we can see that this update is not that huge. It's only 2.9 gigs. How long will these updates take? Well, it depends on your internet speed. So my internet speed right now is okay. So that's why it's only taking a couple seconds to run these updates. So you guys can see Final Cut Pro is already up here so it's almost 90 something percent done 95 percent done i would say and then i just have to wait until it's done however i can just keep updating all my other ones so i'm just gonna hit update on every single one of these so including imovie and what's up so imovie once again it's 10.1.15 it's a pretty small update so if i click on more i'm gonna see that's 2.1 gigs pretty small. All the other Microsoft updates should be pretty small and they're all version 16.40. So once again, if I click on more, I'm going to see that this one's a little bit above half a gig. So you're looking at 795.2 megabytes. For Microsoft OneNote, if I click on more, I'm going to see that that's 400 megabytes. If I click on Microsoft Outlook, 788 megabytes. And then we have PowerPoint where we have 714 megabytes. Microsoft Word, which is one gig, biggest one so far. And I know I already went over this, but iMovie is at 2.1 gigs. And what's up desktop, we have it on 159.4 megabytes, which is the smallest update today. Anyways, once they're done, like I mentioned, we can just click on open them. And how do you know they're happening? Well, this circle should be filling up. And if you guys hear any background noises, that's my dog scratching on my door. So don't mind that. Anyways, let's get back to this. Just to answer your question, how long this will take? Well, it depends on your internet speed. If you guys are having problems with that, your internet's really, really slow. It's usually better just to hook up your Mac directly to your router using an ethernet cable. So use that ethernet cable, hook it up directly, should be much faster than just using Wi-Fi. I like to use Wi-Fi just because my router is far away. But if I could, I would run an Ethernet cable for sure. Anyways, you guys could see that Final Cut Pro is also done. That was a pretty big update. All the other updates are running right now. And that's how you guys can update all these apps right here on your Mac. Anyways, if you guys are having problems, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.